all right, made good good progress today, I guess. Got the intercooler mounted, obviously. Um, but I'll start up here, I guess, um, with this hose. There was uh, the purge valve bracket was in the way. So I actually just got in there with some basic shears uh, like these. Um, I snipped those off and I filed them down. Uh, same thing with the fog light bracket, which used to be here, there. Um, that was in the way for the air cleaner or for the air filter. Uh, so I took some shears from down here and snipped them off and just filed them down. Um, the intercooler brackets I got on yesterday, they're pretty easy. They just have a 10 milliliter bolt here and here, same on the other side. Uh, they had a little bit of rotation to them, so if you need to play with it to get the intercooler fit, you can. Um, the flare on this was kicked out quite a bit, but once you started tightening this bolt down, it kind of caught it, pulled it in. Um, the instructions did say you might have to cut the, the shock mounts or the bumper mounts here and here, which I ended up having to do. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Um, I just used a Dremel uh, and cut it here at an angle. I didn't need a whole lot, and this made it fit just fine. Uh, and again, I filed them down. Uh, I got the disc here, this uh, Dremel reinforced disc. Uh, it cut the, cut the little, this is like 16th inch steel, I guess. I cut it just fine. Um, so that worked out just fine. I also, to note, there's like these rubber plastic panels that actually came all the way down. Um, and there was a grommet for this wire, actually, and this little thermostat thing. Um, I had to cut that out the way uh, to make it to make room because it was coming out pretty far this way. So I had to cut it back and cut it up to make room for the hoses. Um, I just used shears for that. When I put this hose back on after I cut everything cut and filed, um, for the idle control valve hose, uh, make sure you get that bracket on the old hose. The old hose is back here. Um, and they gave me a 45, so before you put this elbow in, reach down there and get the extension connected here. And then make sure you get it all the way down on the 45. And then you can use a 6 millimeter ratchet, I think, uh, because of the tight space to get this tight. And uh, I think this was a little bigger, but use a ratchet to get those tight. And then the, uh, the little cast elbow is pretty easy to put in. You just come in, you catch it on this side and shove it in, and then you can tighten your hose clamp down here and then uh, block it off for, for now with uh, some paper. And then this, I really uh, I really screwed up on this one. Uh, I thought the instructions were saying to cut the bottom, so I did so. I made a nice cut with a Dremel. It was easy. It didn't take too long at all, and I was happy with it. And then we tried to mount the bumper for a test fit, it didn't fit. And we realized that they were talking about the uh, the aluminum part of it. Um, this is like quarter inch that comes down to three eighths inch. It's really thick. The Dremel was having a really hard time cutting it. So I'll probably have to go get um, some angle cutter or a angle grinder or something to make this cut because um, the reinforced bit was barely cutting it. And um, we might have to even have to go a little farther back to make this to make it fit, but uh, that's where we left it for today.